Good morning. Welcome to the athletic director's office and another version of our another second version of our video vlog with the athletic director. My name is Tom Bowen and I'm here today to kind of follow up on a, on a program we started about two weeks ago to create some energy and some excitement and give some information out to all of the members of Spartan Nation and our stakeholders and our season ticket holders and our donors. So one of the first questions I wanted to address was they were asking about the conference and what it means currently. Well, currently, the Western Athletic Conference has now lost another member, obviously Hawaii. We knew that was going to happen back in September. They had made some indirect comments that they were thinking about another direction for their university, obviously with their ability to play in one conference or another. I will tell you that I have not been contacted by the Big West Conference or Commissioner Farrell. I've had numerous informal, unofficial conversations with athletic directors throughout the CSU, my brothers and sisters in the CSU and other UC ADs have called me and talked to me about you know, the possibility of playing in the Big West. That was not an option that was given to us, and that's not something that we considered at the time because the Big West and their official stance with their board of directors was to pursue that opportunity with Hawaii. I would also tell you that I have not been officially contacted by the Mountain West Conference. The Mountain West Conference has now 10 members that play football, and I have had numerous unofficial, highly confidential, informal conversations with current sitting athletic directors and former members of our conference that are now new members of the Mountain West. Their expansion sits at 10. Their decisions are still waiting for their board of directors to decide what to do. If they decide they're going to meet in January, if they decide to expand to 12 institutions and in two divisions, San Jose State University has positioned itself to certainly be part of those conversations and we welcome that opportunity. Right now, as it stands, there is no official conversation with the Mountain West Conference. I have not officially spoken to Craig Thompson, nor anybody else has officially approached the university as far as membership. The other question that came to me that I caught that I thought was interesting was asking me about our marketing and what we do. I would tell you that our marketing efforts have been uh, very aggressive. We've had some uh, interesting issues happen to us in football scheduling, having the second year in a row having to play on Thanksgiving Saturday. But for the most part, our attendance, even though our record wasn't what we thought it would be in football, our attendance has continued to maintain a very steady pace. Our students are more engaged now than ever, and we witnessed that the other night at the Santa Clara basketball game, having our largest student turnout yet. And I appreciate the question because there is a great market in the Bay Area. We are the other franchise in the city of San Jose. We carry the city's name across our chest and in competition. We are San Jose State University, and that's important to us. And it's important to represent and excite this city, San Jose, and this Bay Area, and the 175,000 San Jose State alums that live in the Bay Area to be part of what we're doing. San Jose State University, there's been some questions about FBS status and, and conference status. So let's be clear. San Jose State University since, since 1950 has played at the highest level in athletic competition in collegiate athletics. We are an FBS Division 1A program. That membership is given to San Jose State University. It is embraced by San Jose State University and is not in jeopardy in any way regarding of conference alignment. Our FBS Division 1A status will continue. We'll continue to play at the highest level in all sports, including college football, and we'll, and we'll be a part of the Western Athletic Conference. Currently, there are 120 members of the FBS Division 1A. There's been a moratorium lifted on membership. There'll be three new members added, obviously, in the, in the coming years. Texas State, University of Texas San Antonio, and Villanova. In New York last week, there was conversations with many commissioners about expanding that even further. I am highly confident that the Western Athletic Conference will continue to solicit and build more membership and be a very viable FBS Division I-A conference. The Athletic Directors Council, which was formulated in 2007, has been very involved with my office and in our strategies in a very proactive, very aggressive, in very highly confidential manner in which to deal with the opportunities that are presented to us and the challenges that have been presented to us with the realignment and the change in the conference and going forward. You need to know that they're your voice. They are the voice that represents the men and women of Sparta. They are outstanding men and women of business and outstanding men and women leadership in the Bay Area. And you need to know who they are. And they are Chuck Davidson and Claude Gilbert and Jim Jimenez and Art Lund and John Ralston and Tony Robinson and Terry Rose, and Russ Shrek, and Phyllis Simpkins, and Bill Tamlin, and Pat Smith, and Sid Thompson, and Larry Solari. These men and women and I have spent countless hours working through all that is necessary for us to go forward. It's a very complicated process to put us in position to become 
the best in the WAC, the best moving forward, and wherever we become competitive in the conference that we're in. Those are important people, and they are there sharing your concerns as well. So I wanted you to know that it isn't just me sitting in a room not doing anything. One of the questions was, what were we doing? Well, we're doing very, very quiet, but very aggressive and very proactive activities. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch our new vlog series. I appreciate you being a part of what we're doing, and I want to wish you all a very, very joyous and happy holiday and a, and a great new year. would tell you that there'll be more coming forward and some of the questions I wasn't able to answer today, but I will go f going forward in January 2011. And now I have a question for you. And the question for you is, what are you prepared to do? And how are you prepared to help us? The Spartan Athletic Foundation mounts its spring scholarship drive, and we have an anonymous task because tuition and our costs continue to rise. So I would challenge you, and my question to you is, what are you prepared to do? Because I need the men and women of Sparta, the true Spartan nation, to stand up and make a difference, to make a donation, to support the student athletes. We're asking you to support the scholarship of the young men and women who compete with our university's name in doing the best they can for us. Bring back that culture of champions. Thank you.